Hello everyone. So for today's video, I just wanted to show you something quickly. Uh, once again, this is just a screenshot um, because I wanted to find some pitch letters that I had used in the past. By pitch letters, I mean letters pitching uh, prospective clients, basically people who can hire you. Anytime I will go to pros.com and uh, or Translators Cafe or one of those uh, websites and I would apply to a job, then I would uh, have certain templates that I would use. Pros.com actually saves the templates for you, but other places don't. And so I used to keep a couple templates uh, just for myself. And I just kept them like this, basically on a post-it note or on a text uh, document on my desktop right here. And so I just wanted to walk you through the first ones and show you how easy it can be, mainly because most of you have something. You have like a letter that you've used before. As you can see here, it says, hello, I'm an Italian English translator. I'd be happy to assist with your translation needs, blah, 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 blah. Now, obviously, this can be then personalized as much as you want, like, I can, you know, with your translation of a financial document or something like that. I can, I can type something else, you know, with your, I don't know, uh, website translation or whatever it might be. But this is the template that I had. And the reason I wanted to show you is, is uh, because I've, I had different templates and this was for my legal translations and the one below was for my financial translations. I also had another one for my marketing translations, but for some reason I can't find it now. But so what I would do is every time I was applying to uh, these jobs, like if I found, you know, something like that and I would uh, click on it and apply to it, then I would, uh, if, it, if it didn't have the template already built in, I would just copy and paste this. And I basically had this for my legal translations where I said I have had extensive legal translation experience from court documents to contracts to legal correspondence, you know, and that's it. Like it was very simple. And then I have the whole rest of, you know, everything else. And at the beginning, the only difference I made for my financial translations was I've had extensive financial translation experience from financial statements to invoices to economics journal articles and much more. So. It, it literally was just this line. As you can see, everything else is 100% the same. And over time, then obviously I would do more changes and I would try to you know, personalize it a bit more. But at the beginning, this is what I used. And I got jobs with both of these templates. It's not that hard. I say this because I see a lot of people use generic templates even when they're applying for jobs like you know when i put out jobs and people apply for them i see generic templates that they were obviously meant for another job and you know it's understandable that you have generic templates but you kind of need to personalize them at least a little bit and i just want to show you that even personalizing one line one sentence is enough because here it shows oh legal translation experience okay good but if i'm applying for something that requires financial translation experience or you know some financial translation then I have that with a couple examples here. And that's it. When you're first starting out, that's all you need. So in fact, right now, if you have a template, a generic template you use, I want you to copy and paste it and then just tweak something little. If you do, I don't know, translations in gaming, then you know, tweak something, add a sentence about gaming. Or if you have something for gaming, but you also do, I don't know, websites, then tweak you know, just a little part so it's good for websites. And that way you can have several different templates you, you can easily use and you can apply to many different jobs because you should be applying to multiple jobs per day and you can't obviously rewrite your uh, your letter for each uh, for each job but it's very easy just to say okay I'll use this template I'll use this template maybe I'll tweak something here where it says I'll assist you with your something or other but otherwise that's it you can very easily just copy and paste it and not even think about it and I just found this very easy. So I just wanted to share this method. Uh, that's pretty much it. This was just a short video where I wanted to mention this and I hope you found it useful. If you do, please don't forget to click like and don't forget to subscribe and you'll get more videos like this about freelance translation, about freelancing in the future. Thanks and I'll talk to you later. Bye.